What's up guys, just want to apologize for the bad quality of my mic today. As most of you might not know, my PC died this morning while I was working on another video. Uh, it sort of crashed and the displays would not show up anymore. It might be an issue with my GPU, I'm not really sure, but I'm having it checked right now. And I'm currently struggling since I don't have a job currently to pay for these repairs. But even so, the content must keep going and today we'll talk about the upcoming updates to the Marauder weapons. The Marauders will now have a chance to spawn in with either an L85A1 or an SVDS. Given the behaviors of the Marauders, I assume that the ground troops in red and blue will carry the LMG, for me it's an LMG, and the blue hooded troops will carry the SVDS. Now there are some pros and cons for this update, let's look at the positives first. First positive note would be there will be more exposure to the L85A1 as this gun doesn't get used much even though it's one of the newer guns introduced into the game and another would be that it would be easily unlocked for your archive if you're into collecting the specific weapons of the game this also opens room for future updates such as perks or buffs to be added to this weapon to be honest it's not a great option but it's also not a bad one again with a little nudge in the right direction with a few buffs or tweaks in the stats this specific weapon can be better to be honest it's not a great option but it's also not a bad one. Again, with a little nudge in the right direction with a few buffs or tweaks in the stats, this specific weapon can be better. Another positive note, this time for the SVDS, it will be more accessible to everybody. It may not be easily looted as much since the sniper marauders are fewer than the ground ones. But still, there's a higher chance to get these weapons now because of this update. Everyone can also utilize the heavy wound perk since it's only found on the SVDS and the P90. For those unaware, the heavy wound perk will inflict a decrease in health regeneration by 70 or 80% by their weapons respectively. So 70% for the P90 and 80% for the SVDS. So you will consume more medical items when you are hit by this debuff. In my opinion, they may be trying to have the SVDS compete with the B11 SAS as is the current meta right now for the game. With the positives out of the way, let's now discuss the negatives of this update. Okay, the first negative here is that the L85A1 is not a good weapon right now. Even with attachments or a fully kitted setup, this gun is not a viable option. But if you still want to try it out, go ahead. All I'm saying is that you'll find more success in your operations with other weapons. Next up, as the SVDS got a buff recently with the heavy wound perk, that means the Marauders also have a chance to inflict this debuff on you. Given that they're going to be spawning with these weapons the chances are since they have this auto aim feature or like auto tracking for you if you don't move much they will definitely hit you that will be a guaranteed hit and a debuff on your body which is kind of unfortunate if you're like in a gunfight or trying to run away so it's better to take out these sniper marauders out before they can hit you and our last negative here is that the heavy wound perk is now also accessible to everybody else apart from marauders this means that people might take advantage of the perk in both normal and rank matches. One commenter already mentioned a possible deadly combo of the heavy wound perk and a gas grenade. Now the question is how would you survive easily with that? If you have an idea let me know in the comments below. But that's pretty much it. What do you guys think about this upcoming update? Is it good? Is it bad? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks again for being here. If you enjoy this kind of a video make sure to like it and if you're new here please subscribe. A big thank you for also helping me reach 3,000 subscribers this month. Guys, I have no words. All I can say is thank you. I could not have reached this achievement or done all of this without all of your support. Without you guys, there's no me. So all of this success is also your success. Thanks so much for supporting me continually with these videos. I hope you guys stick with me till 2024. Thanks so much again and I hope to see you guys in the next video.